you say, tell us about Christ in you. If I did not know Christ through my life, I would be confused. With God, He guides me where I need to be. I've taken some things for granted in my life with Christ. Now that I'm getting older, I realize that if I do not have Christ in my life, everything would be harder. I would struggle to know what to follow and where to fit. But if you are a follower of Christ, there is always a place for you. Another thing I realized now that I'm older, I can't. Now that I'm older, I realize how powerful God is and the stuff He has done for us and the stuff He had did, the stuff He did for us. There is a list not long enough for the stuff He does for us. Out of everything, He believes in us. He sent down His only Son that died for us and forgave our sins. The, that is just one thing He has done for us. But there are a lot of more. If you think about it, let's say I sin 100 times a week. That is 5,200 sins in a year. I am only, only 13, and that means I have sinned 67,785 sins. That is just 13 years, and that is just me. Imagine all 7.5 billion people, and imagine all those sins. I typed it in and tried to figure out a number, and it gave me a number that I couldn't even read. Tonight, I had to pick a verse. There was a list I could choose from, but none of them really stood out to me. So I looked online, I looked through the Bible, and I couldn't really find one that I 100% knew was the one. But then I finally came across this one. And I think this one really represents the purpose of why we are calling in God and everyone who is a believer in Christ, God, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27. Do you know not do you know that in a race all runs one runs? Sorry. Do you know that in a race all runners run, but only one gets a prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the gate race goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating in the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave, so that after I preach to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Out of all the things God has given me, two stand up. The first one is confidence in death. death. Not just for me, but for other people and loved ones. My grandfather passed away almost two years ago, and it was sad and despairing at that time. But I knew in the back of my mind that he was in he heaven, and he had been saved by Jesus Christ and our Lord and Savior. If I did not have Christ to give me the confidence in death I needed at that time, I would have struggled and struggled. One thing I cannot imagine is the pain that people go through who are not followers of Christ. After they lost a loved one, they must be at a loss. Not knowing, where, not knowing what to do, and not knowing what to follow. The second thing goes with my first one, confidence in death. My second one is freedom to fear. If there's a chance, if something bad happens, I'm not worried. I'm worried like everyone else, but there are difference from followers of God and followers and people who don't believe in God. If they fall down, they do not look towards God to get help, but they struggle to get themselves up. When I fall down, I look to God to get help, and He helps me back up. Thank you, Katie. Thank you so much. Let's thank God. You know, you get to, to know uh, these young people for two years, and it's a, a joy to do that. And uh, and then they get to share with you some of the things that we get to share in conversation. Kayla. Walking him out was not the answer. 
God may not answer our prayers right away, but they are being heard and will be answered And when the time is right, according to his plan for us. Christ is the one that can save us from our sins because he is the one who died on the cross for us. He cleansed us from all, all our sins and we are his children. 1 Corinthians 13 to 4. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. This verse sums up everything important in my life. It tells, it tells us how we should be towards others and it reveals God's nature towards every person. Because God is love. Whoever lives in love loves in God and God in them. One of the great benefits of knowing God is freedom from fear. Whenever I am scared, I know Jesus is with me. I can pray to him and he will get me through my fear. Knowing God is a big part of my life because he brought me through so much. And I am here today because of him. I want others to discover God and I want them to see how much God can do for them. I've made so many mistakes in my life, in my past, and I know that there will be more to come. But I do know I can do better through Jesus Christ. Thank you very much.